Hello, hello, and welcome to Gathering Grace. My name is Vicki Marthaler. I am uh, the, serving as the president of the women of the ELCA here at Grace Lutheran Church in Hendersonville, North Carolina. And our little program of Gathering Grace is meant to be a program of encouragement, and we pray that you will find encouragement in your faith as we hear faith stories from the women of our church. And today I have been playing a little bit of How Great Thou Art, which is one of the first praise songs ever written for us. It was written by a man named Stuart Hine, and he was uh, living in the countryside and came riding a horse a long time ago in the countryside and there was a storm. One of those summer storms that just came up and pfft, out of nowhere. And so his horse and him ran for cover to a, a, a barn that was out there in the country and they just listened to the thunder and the lightning and all the rain coming down. And then as quickly as it started, it stopped. And you know how that is. The sun comes out, the clouds go away, the birds start singing, and the rain's still kind of falling a little bit from the trees. And he was just taken up with the majesty of it all and the power that he had just experienced in that storm. And because of that, that inspiration, he wrote this song, How Great Thou Art, How Great Thou Art. And so we're going to think about that today, about the wonder and the greatness of God as we hear the faith stories uh, from this program, Gathering Grace. We are basing it on a verse that Paul writes in his letter to Philemon that we find in the New Testament that says, I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith so that you will have a full understanding of every good thing that we have in Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement, and because of you, you have refreshed the hearts of the saints. So with that in mind, we welcome today Marie Mortensen. And Marie, welcome. Thank you. We thank, thank you. you to this program, and we're excited to hear the faith story that you are going to share for us today. Okay. All right. Marie. <clears throat> I was born in Brooklyn, but however, at a very young age, we moved. Uh, my family moved back to California. I was raised and schooled as, as a Catholic in the 50s and the 60s. My earliest memory of God is when my family, <clears throat> all of us, would attend Mass, and when my mom would gather us to pray the rosary together at home. Sadly, I perceived God as only a judging every, every one of my sins with punishment to follow always. I became pregnant at 16 and sadly could not um, at that time <clears throat> ever forgive myself for this sin and hurt it caused for my loving parents and God. But God blessed me with three children, three beautiful children, <clears throat> by the age of 19, my husband at that time was a military man and very abusive to me, un unfortunately. My children and I moved all, many places overseas and all through the United States. A lot of moves. And finally, opening my eyes to the psychological damage my children suffered, I finally divorced him, which also left me overwhelming guilt and always asking God to forgive me. But I would, from the time I was little to present, I talk with God. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I felt rejected by the church, but then in the early 80s, while having a conversation with my cradled Lutheran brother-in-law, and once we, I once again talked about the sins in my life and how I would never get to heaven. Gary stopped me. He said what, what he was doing, what Gary stopped what I was, he was doing and asked me, why do you think Jesus died on the cross? And, I, and more or less, just in a rote statement, I said, oh, he died for our sins. 
Gary said, stop. And then, <clears throat> and then listen to what you are just said, have just said. It stopped me in my tracks. And with the following conversation, I be began to also see God as a loving, avail available being, and Jesus as my savior up on that cross. It is through Gary, my loving sister Kathy, and the community of believers I attend and pray with my church. I have a wonderful husband now. What a blessing. And I have been blessed to pray not only with my husband, but my surgeon before and after my cancer surgery. A medical error during another surgery left me for over six months with a catheter and diapers. But I know and felt Jesus' presence with me through that time. And though the repair sur and through the repair surgery, boy was Jesus and I talking during that time. He taught me patience and trust. In 1997 and 2000, I had to have brain and spinal cord surgeries. It has left me with pain and loss of the sense of, of touch and other things. But Jesus was with me the whole time. <clears throat> when I called upon him to help me, when in the middle of the night I could not reach the call button and I had slumped down in a very painful position, he heard me and he was with me and he called the nurses. When my husband and I moved to North Carolina, we were led to Grace Lutheran in Henderson, North Carolina. Here, having loving fellow congregants and pastors, I have learned so much during insightful classes and discussions. The discipleship class taught me so much about the Bible of which I had no, really no idea what was in it. And to try and be God's hands on earth. I try always to listen every day and night to God's <clears throat> messenger, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, I know, is always with me and will give me guidance if I just listen. <clears throat> I would walk with the Holy Trinity in my life. <clears throat> I walk with the Holy Trinity in my life now in troubled times and in joyous times. <clears throat> Psalm 46, 1 and 10. God is our refuge, refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. And one of my very favorite one is <clears throat> Psalm 10. Be still and know that I am God. And stop trying to run things. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> amazing grace and how great their art are my two favorite songs. And just, he didn't gift me with a gift of uh, singing though, so. <laughs> I mouth a lot of it. Thank you very much for this opportunity, and I hope that you know that you can get through troubled times. He will lead you. Marie, that is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing from your heart. Yes, it was from my heart. So. <laughs> you know, my husband, too, grew up in the Catholic faith, mm -hmm. and, and I understand about when you especially, don't, especially you know, you hear, you hear the scripture, but you weren't mm -hmm. given a, a, the Bible no. when you were younger. And so, no. mm -mm. and neither was he. But again, through church and through mm -hmm. opportunities, uh, he now is very well versed <laughs> and encouraged. And mm -hmm. thank you for sharing that. It just echoed, it echoed in my heart. It echoed in my heart. Well, Amazing Grace is another uh beautiful hymn that holds the story of a man who was living not in righteousness at all, mm -hmm. but rather a, a, almost an evil man. Uh, and yet God found him and sought him and brought another storm mm -hmm. to bring him to a place where he could begin to read mm -hmm. scripture mm -hmm. and to know what it was all about. And he changed completely. And, he, and uh, Amazing Grace is his song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So I think we'll play that right now and 
Thank you. You mouth along. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try to sing. Remember, I'm not the singer, I'm the piano player. <laughs> but you at home, I know you know the first verse. So let's just remind ourselves about the grace that's given to us every day. Amazing grace, how sweet that sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found, was blind, but now I see. Yes, we do see. We see that Jesus is with us, an abiding Savior, one who is always with us, never far from us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your abiding presence. Thank you for Marie, for claiming her, for seeking after her, for putting people in her life that would remind her that she is precious in your sight. We pray, too, for each person who is listening to this and ask that you would refresh their hearts and their minds and their bodies, refresh them with your wonderful spirit and bring them to a place where they too can sing amazing grace and how great thou art. For in your name we pray and we pray and we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for joining us today. And uh, may you have a wonderful day in Jesus. Mm -hmm.